Welcome to the post match review of the second qualifier match in the playoff stage of the Pepsi IPL 2015 played between Royal Challengers Bangalore and Rajasthan Royals. Royal Challengers Bangalore won the toss and elected to bat first. Very aggressive move. Virat Kohli, who won the toss for Royal Challengers, went out to bat as an opener along with Chris Gayle for the first time in this IPL season. Earlier in some matches, he has opened the innings, but not in this IPL season. That clearly showed Kohli's intention to dominate the bowling and put some surprise in the minds of Rajasthan Royals team. He and Chris Gayle started off nicely. Virat Kohli was not in his aggressive best. However, when he started facing As the bowling, usual, Chris Gayle was in his elements and he made a quick fire 27 of just 26 balls with 4 4s and 1 6 and when he got out Royal Challengers Bangalore had got off to a good start scoring 41 runs in just 5 and a half overs but Virat Kohli was very slow in his batting and he got out scoring only 12 runs but he took 15 balls to score those 12 runs then came A.B. D. Villiers promoted to number 3 position and he along with Mandeep Singh who played brilliant for an youngster and he previously played for Delhi Daredevils and was a buy for Royal Challengers and he wonderfully played and he faced only 34 balls scoring 54 runs. In fact, at times he looked like overtaking even ABD Villiers in terms of innovation and uh, quick scoring. But after the 10th over, around the 10 overs, Royal Challengers were only 60 odd runs. But f after the 10th over, after the break, they came back and started blasting the Rajasthan Royal bowlers all over and they scored 70-80 runs in a span of about 6 overs and ABT Villiers was in a murderous uh, form and he scored a 66 of just 38 balls before getting out and it became very easy for other players to just come and knock around a bit. Ultimately, Royal Challengers Bangalore set a score of 180 set to score 181 to win the match and meet Chennai Super Kings in Ranchi, Rajasthan Royals started very sedately. Shane Watson didn't take off though he looked in a very good nick. He is an informed batsman having scored a century previously. Rahane continued his good form but Shane Watson was not able to take off and he got out cheaply at 10 runs only. And then Sanju Samson also got out. Then it was a procession of ba batsmen, one after another. No strong partnership was stitched by Rajasthan Royals. Only Rahane gave some kind of resistance, but all other players just fell off the, by the side. Even Steve Smith couldn't stand there and score some runs or make a partnership with uh, Ajinkya Rahane. Rahane alone stood separately as a, a distinct uh, batsman and he scored 42 but Royals ultimately folded up for only 109 runs. It was a massive victory for Royal Challengers Bangalore and this is the first time they are having a strong chance to enter the finals because Chennai Super Kings is not in a great form. It will be a tough challenge for even the Royal Challengers Bangalore despite their very good form because Dhoni will be playing before his home ground and Chennai Super Kings are known to lift up their batting and bowling in a crunch match situation and they will go all out. But Royal Challengers at present look favourite even in the next match against Chennai Super Kings. We can hope for an exciting match. For Rajasthan Royals, it is bye bye IPL 8. They gave a wonderful performance with just bits and pieces players. There is not, no regrets should be there for Rajasthan Royals as such. But in this match, the great players like Shane Watson and Steve Smith should have come alive. They failed their team and this was not their day. And so they lost the match. Thank you very much and keep coming back to watch my commentary. Bye-bye.